we're live. I think we're live. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We're starting like five minutes early, so we can do a little, you know, check, check, testing one, two, one, two. Orson Borson Wellington here to help me. The inspector's got to make sure everything is up to snuff before we start the Chex Mix Masterclass. So thank you to those of you that are here already. First thing I want to check, is the mic okay? We've had some technical difficulties getting this set up. And so I need to double check that my camera kind of looks like meh. And my mic, is the mic okay? Can you hear me? Testing, testing, one, two, testing. What? Because you're not a member. I am a member, smarty pants. Well, then you should be. Yeah, go to the go to the community tab. Go I am here. on your community. Go to the, go to the members only. Member I'll for ten days. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, here we are. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, now I see you. <laughs> okay. Testing, testing. Everything good? Testing, testing, testing. Sound is perfect. That's what we like to hear. Um, oh wait, turn it out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right. say, we'll so get the wrong echo. Wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> wrong direction. Uh, I wanted everyone to see me and Orson in our matchy matchy uh, tie dye blue tie dye hoodies. Aren't we cute? Aren't we cute? And he's got a little hood. I thought this would be fun for the audio check. Hey boy. Oh, it's so cool. You're so cool, boy. Yeah, you cool boy. Mm. We can hear perfect. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> like mother, like son. Kind of had a little bit of a, a few difficulties getting things started, but I think we're going to work it out. So, here's what we're going to do, everyone. We're going to distract the dogs with a peanut butter pad. All right? So, I wanted everyone to see Orsi because he's little enough to pick tip. up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, give me that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All Come right. On. Follow me, the okay. Pied Piper. The Pied Piper of peanut butter is going to lead the dogs away. And we're going to, um, we're going to get started, guys. It's time. Welcome to the OK Baker Kitchen. Yet again. Well, actually, I say that. No, that's not true. We did the Tasty Turnip Treat Topper Temptations. So we've already done an OK Baker Kitchen video, but... Just so everyone knows, the gingerbread video premieres tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So set your reminders. It should already be there for everyone to see. Um, thank you, everyone that is here. Lovely to see you all. This is like a first like hardcore members only stream. All right. Everything else has been testing, testing. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Is everyone ready? Is it? We got three minutes. I'm going to give everybody three minutes for those that, you know, said they were like, they're going to be here at noon. We're going to give everyone three minutes. We'll give it, I'll have a second to say hello. Sussy, Big Daz, Haley, you said you're still out shopping, so I hope this is left up for later. Yes, absolutely. You'll be able to watch this later. Replay. Members get replays too, so don't, uh, don't worry about that. And Big Daz, thank you. B Ride, nice to see you. Odd Two is in the chat, so Odd Two is going to be in the chat to help answer questions uh, while I'm, you know, if I'm busy cooking or working, you guys have questions and you're making this along with us. She will be available in the chat to like answer right away. And she's also made this checks mix, although I think I might have made it more, maybe. Honestly, this is probably the one thing that you have done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, are, I, you are head chef. Well, listen, last Christmas I learned how to make it, and then I bet I made it like 30 times between now between last christmas and now i've made it at least you know two or three times a month i make the checks mix because i just i like it odd two did not get your metabolism nope odd two did not get my metabolism <laughs> so we're a little bit more <laughs> yeah yep so you know we got to make adjustments for these things sussy's been looking forward to this all week well good sussy very good uh so we're gonna have to just deal with the camera guys and i hope it's okay but I'm going to show you what I've got going on over here. We've got my microwave bowl, that pink bowl right here, right there, <laughs> right there. Uh, we've got my Cheetos because I love them Cheetos. We got the corn checks, the wheat checks, which is not dark corn. It's dark, corn. not. I've changed it. Okay, I edited it. Uh, Cheez Its, pretzels. We've got our butter right there. 
Kerry Gold butter right there. It's fine. I've got it. And uh, we've got our Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. This is everyone's been waiting all week. We've also got the Morton all se seasonal salt, which I, you know, there's variations of this that I think are okay to use, but this is just what I'm using. And as you know, a good sous chef has everything laid out for me, which is really nice. Uh, so we'll kind of do, we'll go through it together. Oh yeah. Where are those? That's in your right chip. Oh yeah. So yeah. Sesame, sesame sticks. Some people really like sesame sticks. So, you know, I'll be honest. I like the sesame sticks. The BRE was not crazy about the sesame sticks or nuts for that matter. They were not. I a don't fan. like nuts. They were not a fan of the they nuts. Sit, they're too heavy and they sink to the bottom. They were just not a fan of it. So I stopped putting them in. But you know what? We are putting them back in because I too want some. And we have our separated rye chips. These are like gold. This is like the gold in the Chex mix. And this is all we could get because there, there's like a shortage of certain things, you guys. And so we had to buy the the Chex mix bags and then pick out the, the, rye. Yeah, the rye chips and pick them out. And this is what we got. It's still going to be great, but I can eat this whole thing. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. I have a big bucket for mixing. Yes, it's a, it's a popcorn bucket. I got a big bucket for just mixing the dry mix in, and then we got our microwave bowl. And so, can you guys hear me back here? Can you hear me back here? Testing, testing, testing. This is what we're gonna do. So you take the bowl, you put the bowl in, and then we just wait. All right. I'm talking about the wattage of the microwave. Oh yeah. So what, yeah, everyone might have slightly different microwaves. All right. So in that case, your times may be different. So let's take this into consideration. This is a thousand watt microwave. A thousand. Like a mid range. We're not paying. We're just okay. So that's like a that's just an okay microwave. And make adjustments on your time based on your microwave. So if you have a three thousand watt microwave. I would maybe not do it as long as I'm going to do it in this one. And to be fair, I've never made Chex Mix in this microwave, so it might take me a second to find the adjustment, but I'll show you how. It's pretty easy. As long as you take your time and you don't rush, it's kind of hard to mess it up. Um, and they say they can hear you all the way at the microwave, so you're good. Perfect. Um, the same popcorn bucket is literally right next to me. Perfect, b Rye. This is perfect. You've got everything you need. Um, so, the first thing uh, that I... I I like to do is to make the full uh, amount right of the checks that's what this is for I'm gonna get the I get the dry checks mix in a bucket first so we've got corn checks these are gonna go in Just pretty much put the whole box you know you can do three quarters of the box if you want to save a little or see if you want to add it I love I like rice checks or yeah, right, whatever, it doesn't, like, again, you guys, this doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Put whatever you want in it. I'm serious. Put what, put whatever you want in it. If you want to try something, try it. This is what I like. So these are going to go all in the bucket. Bucket. And I might need a bigger bucket. It's fine. I got this. Second thing. We like Cheetos. Cheetos go in the bucket. And then I need to stir. I have this paddle thing. So I don't know if you have a if you have like a spoon, it can be kind of tricky to uh, you don't want to crush your Chex mix, okay? So start stirring it around in the bucket. Yep, I'm definitely gonna need a bigger bucket. Oh the Ultimo Bowl. The Ultimo Bowl. This is even better. Alright, we're going even bigger. Alright, so carefully, carefully transfer. You can destroy your Chex Mix, so don't like smash it. You don't want to turn it into crumbles, okay? So, and then, and then all right, those can go like that. Beautiful. Now I have this big old bowl of Chex and Cheetos. Next, we're gonna do pretzels. We're gonna add them in. Now I might do half the pretzels. 
half the pretzels because they're a lot. Look at that, they're, they're a lot. I take my big paddle, stir it in, stir it in. So there's a good ratio, you know? Your extra twangy today, Kai five says. Well, my influence. I've been home for you know a couple weeks now, and uh, it happened. The rye chips, all right. The gold, they got to go in right here. That's it. That's all we get of the rye chips. Who was it? I think Jay said if somebody gives you a rye chip in your checks, it's like you know they're your favorite person. Good morning, Helen. Good morning, Queens. Good morning, Millie and Bianca. Thank you guys for being here. CM Pep, CM Pep is here. Thank you. Now, we need wheat checks. So I like the wheat checks. So again, add them in. Yep. Whole box. Whole box. That's it. Wheat chips done. Again, we're gonna start. Wait, actually, yeah, let's do this too. Next, Cheez Its. Extra toasty. And I like the extra toasty Cheez Its, okay? You get the extra toasty ones, and I know we're gonna toast them again, but. If they're too bready, they soak up and get soggy. Oh, yeah, nobody, please don't ever try to use uh, Cheeto Puffs for this. Oh, you're not gonna enjoy it. Only crunchy sticks. Only crunchy sticks. Okay, Jeez, it's fun. All right, then, oh my God. It's coming along, see, like this. And then I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a, you gotta be careful, you don't wanna throw it all over the place. Now, so far, I've put about one bag or box of each of those, uh, except for the pretzels. Except for the pretzels, because there's a lot of pretzels, and there's sticks, so I feel like they spread further. Sesame seeds, sesame sticks, rather, sorry, for Odd too. She likes sesame sticks. The whole thing can go, it's totally fine. Again, we're just gonna stir them in. Or shake. Well, it gets so big, <laughs> it gets dangerous to start shaking it at this point. You know, I have a bowl that's even bigger than I this. I bet that they mix in anything, I mean, for that matter, as long as it's plain, even a big oh, plastic gosh. container. Yeah, a lid. bucket. It doesn't yeah. matter. This long is not what you're cooking it in. This is what you're mixing in so you get the right ratio for your ingredients. See how it's really coming along now? Eh? Eh? And then you can look and be like, what am I, am I missing anything? Do I need a little more pretzel? Do I need a little more of this, that? Now listen, we need more rye chips, but we can't do anything about that, okay? So we're gonna keep stirring, mixing, stirring, mixing. Okay, this can go over here. Just a little bit more. Is anyone actually trying to make it while you're making it? Uh, is anyone actually trying to make this along with me? I am curious. I know some people are going to do it later because, like, Haley said she didn't have the ingredients yet. And, oh, my God, my arm looks amazing right there. Look at that. Checks, checks mix muscles. Look at that. Ooh. Got the vein going. You got from all your carrying Orson one-handed. It is. It is from carrying Orson. That's exactly what it's from. <laughs> I said there's like an ancient Greek, Greek legend of a guy that picked up his baby bull every day and then when he was a fully grown bull, he could still lift him up over his head because he had picked him up every single day. That's your girl. I'm like, that's me with Orson. He's going to be my little baby bull that is one day full size. You know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. I can see the chat. Like I said, if you guys have questions, Otto is in the chat. I am. Ready to, ready to uh, answer any questions you might have. There we go. Or Sorry. refer them to you. Or, the right, or pass them along just in case I'm, because once we start doing stuff too, it's going to get a little bit crazier. All right. 
I think this is a solid mix for us. We got Cheez-Its, Cheetos, pretzels, rye chips, uh, Chex Mix, wheat Chex, and sesame sticks. Dad says he's tr trying to make it with you, but he may have to be rewinding. That's okay, Dads. It's okay. It's okay. It is okay to be okay. All right. Now, we got our dry mix made. Now it's time to make the, the sauce, the mar I don't know. What do you call like it? The sauce? sauce? I like the sauce. It's the sauce. We're going to make the it's sauce. It's not marinating because mm -mm. we ain't letting it soak. Right. Yeah. You don't let it. So it's not really. I kept saying this on my stream. I'm like, is it a marinade? Is it a sauce? You don't really marinate it, but it does go on it. And then you, you know, it's the whole thing. Right. Um, so, well, actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to now fill up my microwave bowl with my mixture. Now, this is it. Be careful, okay? We don't want to make you any... You still have to be able to stir it once you fill it, right? Well, right. So, you don't want to overfill? Right. So That's what I always do, and then I make a huge mess. <laughs> Almost. Doing good. Oh, I lost a little, but it's okay. Our cleaning surface is clean, or our, yeah, our cooking surface is clean. Sussie's asking about the rye chips. He said they're just bread chips. It, it, they're rye bread, super thin, toasted. That's super thin, toasted rye chips, and they're they're they've got a good saltiness to them that I really like a lot, and they go perfect in Chex Mix. They really do. A little bit more. I'm gonna show you guys about how full I have my bowl in just a second. And this is pushing it. So this is my microwave bowl. And if you'll notice, I have a little bit of room at the top here because we got to stir this as it cooks in the microwave. All right. So we have, and this is my move. I do this. And you kind of, you kind of fold, fold it backwards. It's good. You'll see. It's easier to do when it's wet. Why don't you also give them a little of the history? This is another Debbie recipe. And well, they have, they, so you guys haven't seen the other gingerbread video. It's coming out tomorrow. But that recipe is from our Aunt Debbie from the Family Cookbook. And she is also responsible for the Family Chex Mix. Okay? So we, we get a lot of Debbie's recipes around here. She's an amazing chef, baker, cook. Well, and it started in the oven. And, and right, and it did start in the oven because everyone's like, microwave? You make Chex Mix in the microwave? Yes. When you make it in the oven, first of all, you can only make it a little bit at a time. Basically one plate, one pan at a time. And then it takes a long time to get the right crispiness to, uh, to it's just, Stirring the mess. Stirring them is, is difficult. Thin right, it's just, it's difficult. And then she figured out a way to do it in the microwave. And there was no compromise. If anything, it was better. It was crispier, it was, it was better. And we don't, you know, we don't know the science behind it, but we know that it works and that's why we do it now. And now it's just, when I figured out that it was, this is how you did it, it blew my mind. And that's why I've made it basically, you know, every week since last Christmas because I, because I realized how easy it was. That's why I think you can do this. And Ty's asking if this is going to be a spicy batch and mm, this no. is a kid-friendly batch. This is a kid-friendly batch. We don't want to do it. Okay. We got our mixing bowl or our, our cooking bowl. This is the cooking bowl. All right. Um, this is a mixing cup that we're going to make. We're going to make our sauce in. All right. First thing I want to do is I need a stick and a half of butter, which is more than this. Well, so the I wanna, Harry Gold's two sticks. Well, that's two. I need yes. I need a stick and a half, so, so I need three fourths of this. Yes. Right. I know I how to do this. It. I bought I can it. do it. You need a fancy knife? Mm, just something to. An okay knife. Just an okay <laughs> one to just go. You know. Millie does not like rye chips in the checks. Well, you don't have They're to put not them. Not my favorite either, Millie. You don't have to put them in. We compromised. I put sesame sticks mm -hmm. and, and guess what? I can just pick around the rye. That's the other beauty of Chex Mix. You just leave the parts you don't want. Exactly. And ain't nobody going to complain about that. Okay. So three quarters of my butter. All right. So a stick and a half of butter generally is where I start. And you're going to make adjustments. So don't, don't throw away the butter. You might need it in a second. Put that well, in your... That's 
for those that don't have it, a stick is like a half a cup. So if they're a stick is a that's half like a cup. An American stick. I don't. Oh, know. I see. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, about this much. Do you see about this much butter? And I'm just gonna tell you, it, it's not. Again, this is not exact. All right. And then I do about a cup of our Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, Worcester. I, I asked Google and it said Worcestershire, and I don't think that's correct. I don't think you say Worcestershire. I don't think you do either. I think Worcestershire. 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 Yeah. Apparently in the UK they also just say Worcester sauce. I like that better. Wo yeah, Worcester. Worcester. Put the Worcester on it. I that's like that. Good. So I'm just going to unscrew the top because, you know, we need to, we need to get it. We need to, we need to add here. Uh, where's my cup? There it is. Now, look. And I just Googled it for the, those like in Germany or the UK. So a half a cup of butter is 113 grams. A half a cup of butter is 113 grams. And a half a cup is one stick. And a half a cup is one stick. And we're doing a stick and a half of butter. <laughs> or thereabouts. Just guess it. Just guess it. Look, I used a whole, I had a whole so thing. So like 170 grams. There we go. 170 grams-ish. I don't know if that helps. It may confuse you more, and that's okay. Well, so, yeah. look, look. And again, I'm not measuring exact because I already put the butter in it. I poured my Worcestershire sauce. I have my butter in here. And now, I'm going to put a big, nice tablespoon. So, Millie got the bag that has the bread sticks in it. You need to tell her about your bread stick issue because they soggy. They may soak it up. I I've made it with the ones from the bag, and they, and they are hard enough that it's okay. But just notice anything that's like bready at all, it will soak up the sauce. That's why we use the extra toasty cheese. Right. Um, extra toasty of everything. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it. Just be aware. Just be aware. It's Worcester, Worcestershire sauce or just we Worcester. Like Worcester. I like just Worcester. Yeah. We're adopting Worcester. And again, I'm not, I like a tablespoon. I, I, I think the, I think the recipe even says a teaspoon, but I was no, a, ta a it's tablespoon. Not enough. Right. Yeah. I say I always ended up adding more, so I'm going to go with like tablespoon. That's a, that's the big tea. The big tea. All right. Now I'm going to just stir that down in a little bit and then we're going to microwave it so that we can melt our sauce. Okay, melting the sauce, melting the sauce, just giving it a little, it doesn't have to be perfect. See, Sussy thanks me for my measurement conversions. I've had enough Germans in this house that need help. It's <laughs> yeah, they're like, how? <laughs> All right, first thing, you don't want this to explode. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, okay? And then we'll check it and stir it. Now we're just gonna wait for 30 seconds. And now I can read the chat. I got the bag that has all the breadsticks and chips yeah. in them. And, uh, oh. Which is fine. It's just those breadsticks. It depends on even the brand. Sometimes it does. If they're more bready and thick, they might get a little soggy. They'll still taste good. They'll still taste it's good. It's kind of like everything we make. Even if it isn't the most beautiful, it will still taste it good. It will still be fine. It will be fine. Just, you may have to, you may have to go okay. a little extra longer. It'll be okay. It'll be okay, at least. At the very least, it'll be okay. The big T was Ty Five's nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's joking. Dang, I wish I wanted that to be true. Oh, me too. All right, we got a little bit of a melting going on here. So I'm going to give it a little stir around. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. Okay, we got get, We got a lot more butter to melt, though. So I just kind of stir it, stir it, and it smells good. You're going to like this. Trust me. Well, and they'll be able to, which you want them, to kind of taste it once it gets fully melted. Right. And you're because like, this is to personal taste. Right. Yeah, and to Thai five, you could add hot sauce here. You could add different spicier spices if you like them. Can you get? By the way, can you guys hear Audrey back here? I, I'm hoping you can because what she's saying is is true. Okay, does your sister have any interesting stories to tell? Oh, I'm definitely. Sure. Oh, for sure, she absolutely does. She absolutely. Listen, we have a long life of interesting stories to tell. Um, Sweet joggers. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Millie. You can get these on okgamer.net or click the link in the description of this video and go to my Teespring store and or get your Ty OK Five Gamer. posted the link in the chat. Just or click the back. link that Ty5 just posted because that's very helpful. Thank you, Ty5. Bleep, bloop. Appreciate that. All right, let's check out. I did another 30 seconds. And you see the butter. 
you see how it's starting to uh, gather at the top? We stir it up a little bit more. I still got a big block in here, though. But I'm telling you, do Don't, it slow. It will explode. It will explode, and you will be sad. Okay. Or if you have a melt function on your microwave, use the melt function. That'll keep that may it work from too. Exploding on you too. I just I keep doing it in thirty second bursts, and then I stir just a little bit, and it slowly starts to melt my big chunk of butter. You can chop up the butter too, kind of makes it into smaller pieces, makes it melt quicker. Like this, like this. Hello, everyone. I have fifteen people in here. That is amazing. Fifteen members that want to make Chex Mix. I love you guys. All right, 30 more seconds. So what we're gonna do when that gets fully melted, typically that amount is enough to do this and a little extra, maybe not a full other bowl, but there will be a, a little bit of that left, which is a good place to start for the next batch. Um, but I would say probably three quarters of that we're going to pour on this. But I'm just going to show you, because it depends on your bowl. It depends on, you know, what you did measurement wise. You want to make sure every single piece of Chex Mix in here is has been coated and, and Better hit. Better to go extra saucy than not saucy enough. Yes, you will be so sad if you do not sauce these enough. So we didn't remember the first time we. That's yeah. my story. Remember last year we, the first batch we made. It was we, just plain. We overcooked it and it, it yeah. didn't have enough sauce, so it was just like. It's gonna seem soggy. You're gonna be like, oh shit, I made it soggy, but it's okay because it's gonna crisp up. All right. In fact, sometimes Trust when these little when these little these little wheat checks, sometimes they get soggy and then they clump, and you get these little amazing clumps of like salty goodness. It's actually a real treat. So don't be afraid if things start to kind of clump or whatever. All right. Queen's Army's asking about the Max the Hamster story. There's there's a couple. Well, Are they how the origination? Yes, is. I've told them why I ended up getting Max the Hamster. She's yeah. responsible for this. Well, our, growing up, our mother uh, would not allow any pets in the house. Nope. They, they were not allowed. Nope. It was a no pet household. It was just not happening. But <clears throat> when I was in college, um, in the summer, you guys would get to come and stay with me for. A weekend or a week, depending, mm -hmm. um, while mom and dad got a break, and we would do fun stuff. And that particular year, I decided to take you guys to play laser tag, thinking this would be the greatest ever. And it was very exciting. You know, we were excited about it. And so, the game starts, and during the game, we all run in different directions, as you are supposed to. <laughs> And what was the guy? Was it called Marshall, or what did they, what did they call the guy that was supposed to be like the referee running around inside? Yeah, you were supposed to yell for something like it was something, something like Marshall. There's like a, or like there was like a guy, like a like a sheriff. Yeah, yeah. he's like the he, laser he, tag he had sheriff. Like a name thing. Yeah, and they said if you need help during the game, to call out for him. So as we're playing, I hear you screaming at the top of your lungs for the marshal. Yeah, screaming, 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 and I'm thinking, my God, oh my God. So I'm running through trying to find you about the same time the marshal does, and when I find you, you are literally in a like pool of blood. Of my own blood. Screaming, and and I freak out screaming, and grab you, and we go running for the exit. No, she picked me up and like <laughs> kicked down a wall and took me to the front. Like, really, she literally like scooped me up and like knocked down a wall and we went to the front where and we, you show know. show them your scar, your scar. Well, is it, I can't can remember. Still, it's just right barely, right, right there. there. You can, see it you can still see it. It was open. Yeah. Even after all these years, you were like, what, six? First stitches. Six? Nah, maybe seven. No, or was I, so I was pretty little. Yeah. First stitches. These were my very first stitches. And I think Which that. Which I had never even been to an emergency room, by the way. And so. I'm screaming at the referees. I'm screaming at the owners because I can't figure out how you got hurt. And then you tell me. Mm -hmm. Someone literally hit you with the butt. Well, a kid, yeah. you're not supposed to be running. Yeah. You, you move quickly, but you are not supposed to be running. And there happened to be a kid running in this, you know, uh, in this obstacle course in the dark. And you have your gun. And he came running around the corner and whacked me with his gun. And guess who the kid was? Just, can you have a guess who the kid was? 
he happened to be the head nurse's son who played there all the time and surely knew the rules about no running. So he was the one that busted my face open. And I remember having to get stitches and my dad saying, ah, it's fine. Boxers get stitches all the time. And mom said, I don't want her to look like a boxer. And wow, then, that was the best. Yeah, and then cool. look how I turned out. <laughs> At this point, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die because mom's going to kill me because you're going to have to have stitches. And so I'm driving you to the emergency room, which I'm at this point like 19. I'm not even that old. I don't know what I'm doing. And you're screaming your head off in the back seat. And no kidding, I'm like, Jess, if you'll just stop crying, if you'll just stop crying, I'll get you anything you want when this is over. I promise, anything, anything you want. And you're going, ah, ah. I want a hat, a Mac, or a hamster named Max. <laughs> I want like, a hamster named Max and immediately. Went, immediately and paused to see if I would agree. And then you stopped crying. And then I, yeah. The minute that I said, fine, a hamster named Max, it's yep. all yours. And he got a little cool ball. I built him a whole city, and uh, he lived a great life. Max lived a great life. He's my, he, you know. He's so my not only did I get in massive trouble because you got hurt while you were with me, I got in even more trouble because I sent you home with an entire <laughs> hamster village. I come <laughs> home with, like, a hamster cage and, like, a big scar on my eye, and I'm like, you know. I'm surprised they ever let me keep you all ever. And they did. Again. They did. Again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just in time, everyone. Look at this. We've got our sauce is fully melted. All right. We got fully melted in here. And I'm going to give it just a little. Mmm. Mmm. You want to try a sip of that little tippy I'm a fan of the Worcester. It's we very. add more Worcestery. I think you'll be pleased. Mmm. -hmm. I think it might need more salt. But I was going to say, maybe I might want to put a touch of the mm -hmm. salt. It needs more seasoning salt. Mm -hmm. But not a ton. I think a little and bit yes, there. And yes, high five. If, you ever, if we ever get our mother to get on one of these streams, you will understand why my first fear was my mom's going to kill me. Mm -hmm. And it really it, it was a valid fear. <laughs> it was very valid. <laughs> I did not have firstborn status. Let's just be very clear. Jess was the chosen one. <laughs> I'm the baby. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Mmm. Oh, I think that did it. Mm. Taste testing is a must. Yep, it's a rule. There's nothing in there that will hurt you. No. Nope. I think it needs a little bit more. Of the salt. The salt. The salt. Mm -hmm. the salt. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I like it. Mm -hmm. There we go. See? Adjustments on the fly. We got to do this. She wants to hear the Haji God tell the story of cracking your head open. And carrying me home. Oh, yeah. That was wow. a great mine. Me almost killing him. See, that's what he was afraid of me. I was afraid of mom, but he was afraid of me. Mm -hmm. And yes, he was terrified of that too. So we wanted a little more seasoned salt in ours because we like it salty and tangy. I like that tangy. Mmm. Give it a, give it a, mmm. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm gonna I'm gonna microwave it like 20 seconds, mm. just to get it all good and I don't know togetherness. And then, so I've got like a bottle, half a bottle left or more. I got Cause plenty of butter because we're gonna have to make more. Because I still got this. Look, like this is how much it makes, guys. A ton. All right. This is why you don't the the amounts don't really matter. All right. Like make as much as you want. Sussie said she once had to hide a bicycle accident because her sister thought she was going to get in trouble from her parents. That was our brother. I didn't hide anything. Yeah, he would. I, I just accepted my fate. Yeah. Peyton would be the one begging you to just shh. Like, don't say anything. Don't. No, <laughs> just shh. Yes, he tried to shush me so many times. <laughs> all right. Here's going to be a critical point. All right, guys. This is the first real step. Sauce. Bowl. Let me go right-handed because I'm more dexterous with my right hand. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pour in nice, even circles around on my Chex Mix. Now, time is of the essence here because you do you not want to marinate. It, you don't want it to marinate. You don't want it to soak and soggy. Right. It gets soggy and nobody wants soggy Chex Mix, man. Nobody does. Mm, I said I was going to maybe use that. I might have used all of it. But I'd rather do that and make it be good. Get your paddle, stir it up. Careful not to crunch it. 
be delicate with it and try to make sure that the sauce hits everything, okay? Every every piece needs to be sauced. I'm gonna Show use all how of you're it. coming from the sides. That's how you don't crush it. If you slide you, you, down the sides and yeah. just sort of flip it, that's then, better than trying to It's yeah. like you're folding it, but yeah. it's Chex Mix, all right? And look, I said I wouldn't, but I'm gonna use the whole, I'm gonna use the whole thing. Because we like it extra saucy. Uh, it, right, rather than it being not enough, and I see some dry spots as I'm doing this. Oh yeah. Oh. Get on that right ship, baby. That's it. The whole I use the whole thing. And but I'm telling you it's worth it. Now watch this. I do this. Get ready. Once it's all folded, oh yeah, see how this works? I rotate and I flip, flip, flip. Oh yeah, haven't lost a piece, baby. Okay, it's going straight in the fridge, or it's not the fridge, straight in the microwave. <laughs> Don't put it in the fridge. Yeah. Straight in the microwave. Two and a half minutes first because I've not used this microwave and I don't want to, normally I would say start with three, but I don't know, uh, so I just want to see. So we do two and a half, two and a half minutes, and we just wait. And this is a good point to clean up your space. And uh, show them where you're going to put it to cool. Yep. Okay, so we got, this can go. This was not as... We, we did not need it. No. If, you're, if you're not making this big of a batch, something like that would be perfect. Listen, around here, we're going to need this much, all right? And I'm telling you, I'm going to need, I'm going to need my butter. I'm going to need another thing right away. There's more. Um... So I'm gonna start to prep my next bowl. I'm gonna put the butter in it and just have it be sitting in there softening. It'll melt faster that way. And that's and, about And even if you didn't want to measure your butter, do it by taste. Really, uh, you're gonna just add butter and Worcestershire until you get the flavor you like. Until you get a flavor and like a nice saucy And it should be tangy. You want a little tang in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put that. scary sometimes. She is terrifying. Yeah. But yeah, she's a badass. Millie said her brothers are 11 and 15 years older. Well, I'm 13 years older. Mm -hmm. And you and 10 older than Paige. So. Yeah, my brother and I are only three years apart. My sister and I are 13 years apart. Guess which one was unplanned. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> now when this comes out of the microwave we're immediately going to start stirring it all right we just got to keep we got to keep it moving now that we've sauced it you got to keep it moving so it does not get soaked all that on the bottom that's what this little oh no technique so is. saving our mini pyramid we'll have, the pyramid in the back is not moving which um, one i guess this one no I it's going to be this one well, they can't see that one. This is the only one not moving. It, it's barely moving. It may just be from all the ruckus. I don't know how to thank you, Sussy, because we got to take care of our pyramids. Right. Okay, this can go away. Uh huh, uh huh. You get your paddle and you start stirring. Remember, go from the edges and then fold it. And yes, it's gonna be wet, okay? It's gonna be- Show them how wet it looks because I don't want them to freak out. Right, it looks- it's Saucy. It's very saucy and wet right now. I like this technique. I give it a little mm, 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 and it kind of throws it. It, toss, it tosses it like a salad, sort of, kind of thing. And I flip, 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 flip. Shake it down, flip, flip, flip. I hear Orsi just crying. They're, they're okay. or, not, or they're not sharing. Or they're not sharing. He's like, meh. Meh. Mm hmm. Give it a few flips, a few good turns, a few good turns. And then I'm immediately going to put it back in the microwave right away while it's hot. And we're going to do two and a half minutes again because this was perfect. It was perfect. It was perfect.
Now everything is going well again. Oh, take that boy out, maybe? He might be feeling a little bit of a... It's fine, I can handle this. I know what I'm doing. After he eats the peanut butter pad, it's usually a... <laughs> it's time to go. So how is everyone's uh, Chex Mix coming along? I know, we gotta get the Orson emote. Listen, I did what I could do to get the gingerbread video done and preparing for this live stream, by the way. This is a big one. This one's important to me. And you can make it, you can make it extra buttery, Helen. You can do kind of whatever you want. Whatever you're making stinks. It does have a smell, but I promise that is a, it, it tastes, that, that tangy, that, listen, Worcestershire sauce is like very potent and it's worth it. Just trust me, trust me. The mix has a nice color. It looks very tasty. It's coming along. Okay, so it's say you stir it and you're like, oh my god, is it? They're soggy. They're soggy. Oh no, I've ruined it. You've not. You just got to immediately put it back in the microwave and keep it going. And then do the this one. The the mm, 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 mm. that little that little shake is critical. Okay, absolutely critical. We have 17 people in here. Amazing. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my members. I appreciate you guys getting here. Um, if you wanted to get messy with it, could you just put some gloves on and mix by hand? Absolutely. That's actually a pretty smart idea. Just be careful of burning. Make sure your glove, uh, you know, you won't burn through the glove because it does get pretty hot. But that's fine. That's a that's a great... Listen, this paddle, if you don't have these, I completely understand. But like a metal spoon is probably going to start crushing your Chex Mix and that's sad when that happens. Um... RJ City's here. Oh, RJ City said, well, hi. Well, hi, RJ City. Don't worry, RJ. This is not spicy Chex Mix. No a spicy Chex Mix today. Big guys, they said it stinks. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoo. I said, well, Worcestershire is pretty potent. All right. It's pretty potent and uh, it's worth it. All right. Okay. I did, I did two and a half again, Sussy. Oh yeah, and then we got the big, yeah. and then we start flipping, and we start flipping, and we start flipping, just like this. Keep it in the bowl, keep it in the bowl, let it kind of fluff it, it fluffs. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, oh my god, it's going to be good. Hey, since he's asking, did you put it again for another minute and a half? No, no, that's why I said it. I did yeah. two and a half, two and a half okay. on this one. I did flip, 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 flip. We're gonna give it a good scoop after a bunch of flips, kind of right up the middle. And it, it just fluffs it and keeps them from sticking together. Okay. Show the difference, like how saucy it was when we first started and now it's looking more dry. Now we're getting dry. Right. It's still, still kind of soggy. So now, two minutes. We're gonna start going less on time. So now we're gonna do a two minute turn. And we're gonna keep cutting it down until you're doing one minute turns and it's perfect. Because you, you can burn it this way. And if you do we it- We did the first time, bad. We've burnt it and it's- But it was still edible. The whole thing was actually still eaten. It's so sad. It is sad, but we still ate it. I would just end up flipping it all over the kitchen. Listen, that technique takes practice, Millie, and I completely understand. You replace the season salt with cookies all seasoning when I make it. It's a little spicier than season salt. I bet that's still delicious, Queens. Um, is the flipping just as excuse to do a reggae dance? Just as it needs an excuse to reggae dance. Oh, I don't need it. I'll just do that anyway. <laughs> I'll just do it whenever I feel like it. Hello, horse in Wellington. Do not no, chew that wine. No, sir. Do not chew that wine. Oh, my God. Eh, 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 eh. No, sir. We have the laptop wires strung across the kitchen Which precariously. Choice, it's all we had. It's all we could do. We couldn't do anything else, you know. Uh, and Orson is like, meow, meow, meow. "Need your baby? Where's my baby?" Um. Oh, also, this is for everyone. I wanted to show you guys the uh, cooling. When we're done, when we're done, we have lay out on your counter these paper towels or table, or table, whatever. Her whole bag or table 
was a Tex-Mex drying station. Right. Anywhere you have a large space, table, countertop, whatever, lay out paper towels to cover. And, you know, depending on the bowl, you might need a pretty big space. That size bowl will pretty much fill it because you want to be able to spread it in a thin layer. Okay? You want, to, you want it to be able to dry entirely. I was doing all those right before you came over. Oh, my God. Yes. And it takes like an hour. I'm, I always say like, always set aside at least an hour for chicks mix. And you also don't have to make all of this. You can zip this up and just do, I've done that before too. When I ran out of butter and moisture sauce, I'm just like, well. Wait till later. Yeah, I just do it, yeah. just do it again later. Cause I already got the dry mix. Like it's ready. Okay, we need. All right. Now as it starts to get closer, it gets a little clumpier. Okay, little, little clumpier. Oh yeah. Almost lost a sesame stick, but I did not. There we go. Oh yeah. It starts getting less clumpy. Listen, well, you couldn't have even done that when you first coated it because it was so no. sloppy. No. Let me turn it. And show the difference in the color because that kind of lets you know Actually, when it yeah, starts to get it done. Look at the look at the difference. Look at the difference. That's what you're looking for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it a quick flip. Where's my paddle? Oh, okay. paddle's over here. I'm gonna give it a quick flipping, and then I'm gonna do two minutes again because it's still How long pretty moist. to dry on the paper, so wants to know. Uh, when a when while. it's when it's done, yeah, you want it to pretty much cool. That like way, the way, it's all the, the way done. Crunch test. It's all well, about the crunch test. Right. Exactly. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. We ain't, we ain't there yet, though. We are not there yet. If it's still moist, you're not there yet. Two minutes. And then the next one's gonna be a little less, most likely. Yeah, and if anybody experiments with different spices, we'd love to get feedback on yeah. like a sweet one. Cause you, Cook. Debbie's made sweet ones too before, like cinnamon and sugary kind of weird. Like a, um, what's it called? Um, what's that, what's it called? Puppy the, chow. Yes, uh -huh. in, the, in, in the Midwest, puppy chow's real popular, like powdered sugar and. They've done, there's all kinds of weird, you know, variations. I, just, I like the same. But we like salty. Mm-hmm, yeah. But yeah, for Sussie, if we can, when it dries, I mean, I would say, one, it has to be completely cool. So it's probably going to be at least 15 or 20 minutes, but you just start checking it. And right. if it's and still a, chewy, it's not ready. Right. It will be crunchy. There's a trick when it's out of the microwave. If you try a certain piece and they're crunchy, then you're good. Because if you keep doing it, you're just going to burn it. And then when they actually dry dry, then they get real crispy, and that's when you get that, like, ugh. <laughs> Millie says puppy chow's delicious. Queen's Army puppy chow's amazing. You can, I mean, listen, I'm pretty sure you can do, I mean, I don't know that I'd put Cheetos in it. Um, <laughs> no, probably not. But I, there are definitely, I'm not experienced with the sweet version of this. I do. Spicy I, or salty. The savory, yeah, savory, spicy, salty, savory, whatever you want to call it. That's what we do. Oh, jeez. A little snacking was never gone wrong. No. That's the thing. You can snack on it, but then you're like, ugh, it's not, it's not ready. It's like, it's like naked Chex Mix. <laughs> Weird. Thank you everyone for liking this video. If you haven't done it yet, please remember to do that. How many likes do we have? 13. Alright. But we got 16 people watching. So there's three that haven't hit their button. They gotta pay that tax. Yep, me and Orsi got our matching sweaters on. It's very sweet. Okay. <laughs> Helen's going for cinnamon and whiskey. Dropping the cheese Cheetos. <laughs> go hey. big or go home, yeah. Helen. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you want. I support it. Okay. We're going to flip it. Oh, yeah. Flip it. Oh, yeah. It's getting there because it's starting to dry. this tossing if you guys can get it I promise it's like a game changer because it's it like making the sound <laughs> but it gets it off the bottom I'm telling you there's a reason I'm doing it it's not just because it's fun there it is oh yeah and it makes you feel like a pro when you do it too and then I go straight up the middle oh yeah now it still feels like Moist, a little sticky, a little wet. We are not, we are not there yet. Next turn, minute and a half. We're getting less. Mm. 
Milty can, Millie confessed. It was she was one of the ones who hadn't paid her tax. It's okay. It's okay. See, now we're even. Now we're about to. We got fifteen and fifteen, so we're good. Okay, we're good. It's always good to just remind people. They sometimes forget. It's really easy to forget these things, and uh, it helps me a lot. And this is a members-only stream. And your registration fee for the class is obviously your membership. So thank you to all of you that have become members uh, or have stayed a member for a very long time. I really appreciate it. And I want to do more things like this, more of these master classes, more of these live streams where I cook things. And uh, I thought about like a bread, I was like a bread baking day, like when it actually comes time January, to bake it. Didn't you say in January, tell them what you're going to do with members only? So I actually did talk about this on my stream a little bit. Um, but beyond the bread, which is always a thing that I want to do more of, I said I need to do a potato soup version of this type of thing where basically we can live stream because the the cooking and creating part of it, you know, other than letting it cook and simmer, like it's about the same. You got like an hour, hour and a half of prep and whatever, and then you just let it simmer. And I'm like, I could totally live stream the creating part of it. Uh, and I think people could follow along and make their own potato soup. And I know you guys... I know that you guys have been asking about the potato soup for a long time, so I would enjoy also doing a members only live stream of that. Training session, mix, checks, mix. Exactly. How long is a long time? What did I say it was a long time? I don't remember. I don't remember. Half hour? How long did we say it was a long time? Uh, but what were we saying was a long time? All right, I don't know. keep saying. <laughs> oh, it's getting close. Because you hear it. Listen, listen. Sam Pepper says, ooh, potato soup master class. It's not master. We're just... Okay, okay. an okay class. Well, I did call it a master class. No, tongue in cheek. No. It's tongue in cheek, okay? <laughs> when I say we take things seriously, I don't actually mean seriously. Hear how it starts to sound like Chex Mix again? You can actually hear the pieces. We're getting really close. It's not like... Like it doesn't, you know. Have you tested a Cheeto yet? Oh no, it's I know it's not ready. It's not ready. No, no, no. Testing. Nope, it ain't ready yet. Uh, Queen Tommy loved the turnip treat last week. So we're gonna do a, a sweet potato uh, cookies for the dog. Mm-hmm. We got more doggy treats to make. It's gonna be great. Okay, this is getting really close. Here it's getting slightly more crispy. One minute. And we're gonna do one minute turns until it's done. Until I get that, like, it's pretty much perfect. Sussy's like you. Not a fan of sweet. She likes her hair. Likes it spicy. What that spicy? Potato soup, bread baking videos. Yes, please. Yeah, all of this. We're going to do, I feel like a lot of that. Bowls. Well, I am going to attempt bread bowls for the first time as well. I don't know how that's going to go, but how else are you supposed to learn? Other than trying. Just keep an eye on Orson. He's sitting literally like a little angel. Like He's a, a baby. Angel. He's an angel. He's an angel. Yeah. Oh, he's my baby. My little 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 baby. My wailing baby. Okay. So look, 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 look. It's getting there. Give it a. Oh, it's starting to get crispy. Now I'm gonna do one more, and we might be getting close, but we're not there yet. Whoop! Lost a couple. It's fine. <laughs> Their sweaters were too big. I know. We got them all cute matching Argyle sweaters and then they they didn't fit them. Orsi's will grow we into will his. Grow yeah. Okay. One more minute. I've lost a few crumbles, but it's fine. Millie says she might need an assistant for soup making because of the wheelchair. We're gonna get plenty of notice, so oh yeah, you can coordinate for that. Yeah, well, this is not this is not happening right away. We you know we've got to let these things run their course, and um, and this is also good practice for these things. 
uh, for me, for you. Like, I, I want people to get used to it, but at least I would like, I, I would like once a month to do some sort of cooking members only stream where you guys can basically cook along with me, but just, you know, stuff that I like cooking. And I'll eventually run out of those things, I guess. And we no, can, we but, find more. but I feel like, yeah, you just find more. What is your boy? He's tired. Sometimes I get time. so nervous. I'm like, oh, it's his nap time. it is during the day, and that boy likes his nap time. Oh, here we go. Ooh, so it's making a. Can you hear that? It's making a. This is really close, guys. Really, really close. crunchy. God, it's so close. But I think I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more one more minute turn. You're fine. We're going for chicken feet and a, a, a heating ring. I said, yes, give that boy a heating ring. Yeah. Trust him not to inhale a chicken foot. Well, he tried and the chicken uh, finger gagged. <laughs> it did. It did. Right, it we're giving, is it sizzling? Yes, yes. A little tiny, like, like that's when you know it's starting to get like done done. He being a sass pot. He's, oh, I saw that. That would be no chicken foot for you, ma'am. And we got it on camera. We got it on camera. So bad, so bad. No, this is not this is we're gonna get no, him teething no. ring. You go last because you were ugly. That's what you get if you jump on my back. You have to go way last. A total of ten minutes into my way. Can you say that across the board, or is it a question of feeling and looking? Absolutely. This is what I was saying. It depends on the power of your microwave. I recommend doing starting with two to three minute turns, and then each time start to to lessen the amount. I usually do it in thirty seconds until it gets, you know, where I want it. But you want to do it less and less. Is it, oh, listen, listen, listen. I can hear it from over yeah. here. They have to hear Yeah. So, oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you hear that, like, different consistency. Pretty crunchy, but don't burn it. I'm out. Try it. Mmm, God, it's good though. Try it. Oh, gosh, okay. Try a Cheeto. Mm, I don't one minute. Really close. I think one minute. We're going to do one minute. Or... We're going to do one minute. Mm. And then that's it. we done. Are we sharing some of this at the birthday party today? Well, yeah, it's my gift. <laughs> it's everything I've got. The pup trying to counter surf. Yeah, they saw her. Everyone saw it. Everyone saw it. Oh, that Orzy baby. That Orzy baby. He's eating his uh, puppy chewing ring. We have to keep them distracted while we do videos, guys. It's very uh, important, you know, that we maintain the pupper energy around here. Everyone's like, ooh. Mm -hmm. Nixie got Nixie in got trouble. Big trouble. She did. <laughs> just yell it. That was not a yell. That was just it. Mm, where? Heard Ty Fives said you were going to yell that did not burn it. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, was... yeah. Oh, my God. You guys, wait till you see the gingerbread video. <laughs> just wait. I can't wait. I really can't wait. It's perfect. Um, and I may need you. Well, Maybe. I want to pour out the thing, but I think I can oh. do it. I think I can do it. I think no, I can, I can do it. Well, it's hard to see with the camera. Okay. You hear that? Wait, 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 wait. Let's get it. A, let's make sure. Oh, see where our consistency is. And the color. Like, that's really important again to see the. Yeah, come come hold the big one and look at the color difference of this, guys. And it's gotten better from the first time we did it. Right. 
See where we're getting? See where we're getting? Now, I start to smell. It is on the verge. If I did it again, I might burn it. A, a minute might not. That's why I like doing the, the, the minute. Maybe even I'll do a 30 second. But it's so close. You're just showing off the technique now. This your wrist flip. Uh -huh. Oh, Fine. 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 I'm doing 30 seconds. I want people to understand that this is, it really is just by feel. I know it's hard to be like, like it's not exactly, you don't want it to burn, but you want it to be as done as it can be without burning. And I can like, it is like right on the edge, but if you don't get it done enough, then you got soggy chicks mix and nobody likes soggy chicks mix, all right? Or Orson can't counter serve good, and he'll never Thank be able God. to. He'll never be able to. We do not need more counter servers in this house. Okay, I think it's done. Okay, give it a fluff. Oh, it's perfect. I I, I made the right choice. I made the right choice with the with the minute or with the extra thirty seconds. Okay, this is the next phase. We're gonna take our bowl and we're gonna spread it out on to our paper towel area. So if you come over, you can't see. I can't. I and know. I, I'm going to put you, I'm going to put you where I want it and just hold it right there. Yep. That's perfect. And then we kind of go right in the middle as you shake it out. And then we'll spread it out with our little paddle guy. Nice and easy. See how I've got this? I can, I can do it now. Okay. Yep. Now I got Your arms are longer. Yep. <laughs> and I can kind of see what I got going on. And you just want it to be a thin layer. So it fully cools, dries, whatever. There it is. Oh, it smells good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there goes the Cheeto. Mm-hmm. You see? You see? Why can't I do this? Am I struggling? Do you need help? No, no, I got it. Okay. I'm just, I was, my brain was struggling. With the, uh -huh. And yes, Sussy said finding the right crunchy level is the goal. It is. That's, the, that's, that's it. it. That's, that's the it. pinnacle. That's what you yeah. are surfing towards. That is literally it. Okay. And now. Oh, my God. So, it, there's no comparison. Once you put a, a regular Cheeto right beside one of those Cheetos, it's just. It's like not. It's like not. It, you, no, you, it I makes don't you, like those anymore. Right. It makes you not even like. You can't even hardly eat them when, they, when, they, when they've been sauced and properly cooked. It's just you cannot even stand to hardly eat a regular Cheeto. I said it feels naked. It's like naked Chex Mix, you know? So, while these are cooling, you would then start the next one. And I am going to start another one, but I'm also going to be here to help. Uh, you can chat more now. I can chat people. more now, right, because this is the first batch. I could stop here, we could seal this up, and we could do it again tomorrow if you run out of ingredients or whatever. Like, that is a lot of checks mix, okay? For like, especially one person, that is well, quite yeah, a bit. If you were having people over and you just wanted to quickly turn out one and put the rest how, out later. Yeah, how long have I been? Let me find my thing about how long I've been Not an hour, hour, barely an hour, but and I didn't even start doing it right away. So less than an hour, you can get out a whole bowl of checks pretty quickly. And like I said, this you just put this up, just save it. All right. Everyone thinks it looks amazing. Thank it you. Even it really does. I'm, I'm very pleased with the crunchiness level. Mm. Mm. Like a seasoned Cheeto. Who knew that was something you needed? Mm. Oh my God. You you can't. I, I hear people all the time saying, I can just buy Chex Mix at the store. It's no, not you can't. the same. It's not. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, How long yeah. is it going to have to try this uh, with? beer and movie night or sports night yes. yep literally that's it's like the ultimate snack party snack food well you did that and then it became a thing where everybody mm -hmm. wanted it every time mm-hmm this is what we got I'm letting them see the color of it mm -hmm. how amazing 
And I know, I know it's like confusing and I feel like I'm throwing a lot at you guys, but also I'm just like, it is really easy though. It's really, really easy. It's amazingly easy. So while we chat, I'm gonna make another, I'm gonna make another batch, all right? Cause I know I have at least enough butter and Worcestershire to do one more bowl, all right? So same thing, fill your microwave bowl up with your mix. And Dad's the saying, not a big fan of pretzels. Don't, don't put any in. Like there yeah. is no requirement to have pretzels in this. Nope, you do not need to put, listen, if Shayna had her way, it would literally be all Cheetos. I would just season Cheetos. I wanted to add corn nuts, because I, uh, I happen to be a corn nut fan. Corn nuts would have been good. We could have added those. I will, but we, we can, can always do it next time. Yeah, I'm down for corn nuts. Those sound real good, actually. Oh, sorry, sorry, everyone. Nobody panic. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just gather these up. This is why you clean your cooking surface first. So is, is anybody that's making along has has anyone gotten to their is own taste Is it failed test? or are we struggling? Are we yeah. yeah. Is there any anybody need any help or has anyone actually tried it and been like, oh my god, this is amazing? Daz should be getting close. I think Daz Daz was working and I think he should be getting close to his where it's crunchiness appropriate. There we go. Bowl number two. Ready to go. Did not put, oh, this is amazing. Oh, great, Daz. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's what we want to hear. That's exactly what we want. Jim, can you just sell some to us? I wish, right? If only it were that easy. Um, if, but then we wouldn't have the fun of helping mm. you be safe. You could give a man a fish or teach a man to fish. This is exactly, exactly yeah. what I was going to say. We are teaching you to Chex Mix fish right now, okay? So let's get our stuff back here. My Worcester sauce, my butter, and then I'm just going to add, I think I'm probably going to add all I of it. I like how you're holding that and just pouring. Yeah. Like, you know. And Helen, if you're doing that with bourbon, you might know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So liberal, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe just a splash. <laughs> um, and that was, this was all of it, which is a little more than last time. But you know what? There's a little bit left in that bowl. So if I can do that, that'd be great. All right. Our Queen's Army calls it woo sauce. I kind of like that. Better. I like that too. Yeah. Yeah, and I add plenty of our seasoned salt to the mixture. And then give it a nice little stirring. Where's my fork? But then same thing. We'll melt it and go again. All joking aside, people saying, oh, I pay for shipping. This is actually one of the amazing things because Debbie's done it for us before that you can mail to family for, for yes. the holidays. Like sometimes cookies don't travel well, breads don't travel well. This holds. You put it in a sealed airtight container and you can actually send this out to friends and family. But guys, as you can make this. You, you can make it. But they can send it to their friends and family. Right. Is that Christmas? You don't, you don't need me to do, that's why this is such a gift to you members, really, and I mean that, like, it's really is, if you want to impress your friends and family, especially around holidays or parties, this is, like, just a game changer. People are going to think you are that person that, like, oh my god, they do this thing and they cook amazingly, and I'm like, really? It's a microwave, a plastic bowl. Yeah, and, and some Worcestershire and some butter. Yes. <laughs> and, a little, and a little season salt, like, that's it, that's it. That's it. You can do it. Kai, we believe in you. You do not need us to mail <laughs> She can do this. You I can know she totally can do this. Do this. She's like, but I'm scared too. Don't be scared. And as, as people are talking about, Queen's Army said that they made it with garlic salt. And I, mm. I like garlic a lot, but mm. my husband loves garlic. So yeah, I could see I that could see garlic good. going over very well. Like that's what is also great is make make it how you and want. And make your own. Mm -hmm. Your own blend, you know. And then it becomes your family recipe. That's that's the rules. If you change it at all, then it it's then yours. It becomes yours. It's yours. The method is just the method, right? That's where I feel like it's the whole teach a man to fish. But what you actually put in it is up to you. Oh, did you get that crunch? Mm. Oh my god. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Aww. 
Aww. Even the pretzel sticks. Sussy said it was really nice for you to share the family recipe. Mm -hmm. It's like your family. Sure. Exactly. You guys are my family. You are my online hoodlum family. And I am more than happy to do things like this. I love sharing this. It's I feel like it's community building and it's important. And I, I wanna I want you guys to try. I wanna help you. I had help learning these things, you know? Now this one is more. I may not have to use all of this and I can save that little bit for what's left over over there. Mm -hmm. But I also might need a little, like that's the thing, you have to kind of just keep adjusting. Better to better to run out of sauce than under sauce. Do not under sauce oh, your checks. Over sauce is better than under sauce. Right, you are not gonna be happy if you under sauce your checks. And I mean, you'll still eat it. Too. It will. That's what we did on our first one. It That's why it's no so sauce and it burnt. It's so important that if it's coated. That's why that initial like getting it on everything is is pretty critical. It's getting really crispy and good. I know. It's amazing. Go a little bit more. I just do this. Really she couldn't find wheat oh. checks. Use rice checks. Yeah. Or just use all corn. I might find some this we can make. Yeah. Don't, don't, please don't get hung up on the specifics of what I'm putting in it. That is uh, the most unimportant. The specifics that you need to be concerned with are Worcestershire sauce, the seasoned salt, and butter. That's the specifics. That's where I'm like, that is kind of, uh, you know, the amounts of them are adjustable. But those, those things you have to have. Literally everything else. Can go, can be in or not be in the checks. Yeah, Debbie puts nuts in hers. I'm pretty sure she does, because I because um, I did it the first few times, mm -hmm. and the DRE was not a fan of the nuts. And I'm like, oh, well, okay. And then I, I just, just don't them like out. the nuts because they sink to the bottom. I don't like them because they don't get crispy, and they don't soak up the the right. spice as well either. They don't get crispy, and so you just end up with a regular nut, and it kind of mm -hmm. is just not the same. It's just not I'm the same. That's fine. Yeah, I want my checks mix crispy and salty. Mm-hmm. We're getting close, maybe one more of this. And we'll do like one more bowl. Yeah, the dog behind you. Mm -hmm. As long as they don't counter, sir. They're trying to come over to, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see you, Nixie. Investigating the, oh, that's not, that's three minutes. We don't want that. Orson, leave the coat for alone. What? You cannot go under that. Was that him that moved the chair? Yeah, he goes <laughs> under the chair. Like his little obstacle course. Mm -hmm. Got our matching hoodie. He's such a hoodlum. He is a little hoodlum. He is a little hoodlum. Look at his ear hanging out. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, got them dobby ears, this boy does. Very close, very close. Sussy so said, better to go into the microwave for a minute more than to get annoyed when not everything is coated with the sauce. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now That's you're why getting you it. you do it for less time, then you're, you're in more control. Mm -hmm. You start doing it for three minutes and it was not good and even, like, oh, now you're gonna burn it and whatever. But if you keep stirring it, keep moving it, do it in less time, like, it just, you'll, you're getting it. You guys are getting it. You're figuring it out. I'm so I'm so proud of you. You know the other thing I like about the microwave is that, um, as we found out, and they'll see in the gingerbread video, uh -huh. when uh -huh. the oven is going, it can heat up your house. Yeah. And that's not always such a great thing, so no. you don't get that with the microwave. Nope. Exactly. This is a this is like appropriate for almost any kitchen. Almost every kitchen will at least have a microwave, and if you have a microwave safe bowl. You can do this. You can do this with uh, two bags of Chex Mix. Like, you know what I mean? Like little baby bags of ingredients if it's what you want in it. And you can make one. Nobody said you had to buy 18 sticks See, of butter. You could just buy the party Chex Mix bag. And literally and just literally make it out of just that. just make it out of that. Yep. Okay. If you're like, I don't know, it's too much, just buy the party Chex Mix and, and, and do that. Like, just do it. Ooh, Millie's going to try and make it for a party Ooh. at Christmas Eve. That's what we, that's Millie, a great one. you will be. That'll be, you'll be so popular. You'll, yep, you'll be the talk of the party. Mm -hmm. All right, so, dry. Oh yeah, see, it's, it looks naked. It looks naked. We're gonna add 
our sauce. Look at the color of that sauce. Oh, yeah. That's the other oh, way you know the blend, you know, you know? I need to make sure we don't need more. Uh, you didn't taste it? Oh, my gosh. Mm. It's okay. No, I good? think it's pretty good. It's hot. Be oh, careful. Don't burn me. I don't know that can make it better than the first I, one. I know. I was like, mm, actually, pretty good. <laughs> you did better than the first pretty one. Pretty good. Pretty it has good. more woo sauce. Well, and, and I put more in it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that better, actually. See, I've told you the first mm -hmm. time, yeah, I like the woo sauce. Mm -hmm. The woo sauce is where it's at. It gives it that tang, that salty. Helen's going to introduce it at her family New Year's Day gathering. Oh, I love they're all sharing our family yeah. recipe with their family. Yes. It makes me really happy, guys. Please let me know how that goes. And if you need help, oh, yeah. comment on this video. We will come back and continually check this. If you have questions, like, this is not going anywhere. Members will always be able to watch this. Um, and for those watching it later, same thing. It's not the same. You don't get the same effect of cooking it along with us. But if you put questions in there, we will come back and check and answer them. Exactly. We're not going to leave you hanging. Nope. This is important. We take this, you know, seriously. We take the uh, teaching of it seriously. The Chex Mix is fun, you know? We do not take our food seriously. No. Wait till you see the bread family. <laughs> that's that's why it's tongue-in-cheek when I'm like, time to get serious. <laughs> and it's, like, ridiculous. Now, I'm going to need a little bit more, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it. Second batch might be even saucier. Saucier. Show them when you get done how like just it's pretty so shiny and it, you can it's pretty really well see. soaked and I don't know if you can see in the bottom like it's how almost it's cooling and right the bottom. but you gotta get it you know do my toss my toss move here doggies out of the kitchen oh, are they behind you one of them is I'm not sure which one how many chicken feet do I have to bribe you with <laughs> Orson still got oh okay. Siri Siri's oh. in I'm like what <laughs> my wife is talking to me yeah. Three minutes for the first turn. Three minutes. Make the checks, make post pictures of finished finish product. Yes, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. 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 Um, let's see. While this is going, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> No one panic. Look at that. I did it in the less than three minutes. No. So we're going to finish this bowl. This is going to be getting pretty close. To be put in the container. Yep. Look at it. Oh, it's ready. I mean, it's pretty well cool, right? Mm -hmm. How long? I mean, I don't know how long it's been, but. No, it's cool. It's not. You can feel of it. Look at that. I need to get your container and I'll start. This is like drone footage of the 
of the Chex Mix, okay? This is what we're dealing with. So you see, like, the Chex that was light colored is now dark colored, and the Chex that was wheat is even darker, and it's really good. Your microwave is calling you. Yep, now it's time. Time to go back to microwaving. Oh, it's super wet. Steaming, super wet. Totally fine. Kind of soggy. Doesn't make a good noise when you flip it. Kind of goes like it's kind of gross. Not not something you would want to eat right now. Where's my paddle? There's my paddle. Give it a good stir, especially when it's still super wet. I I'm, I keep using the paddle. As it gets drier, you can just fluff it. But we're not there yet. It's still pretty. Uh, wet. It's wet Chex Mix right now. Two, two and a half minutes. He, where'd he go? He's under, hiding under his special spot with his teething ring. All right. Well, he literally tries to hork those down. Like he's, like he wants it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's how Woo! much it makes. That's a huge. That's a huge container that one bowl made, as you can see. Listen, you take this to a party, you are going to be the most popular person there. I promise. I promise. And they're going to think that you can really cook and that you've slaved in the kitchen for hours and hours and hours to do this. And I'm not saying it doesn't take time, because it does, obviously. But there's it's, nothing they can get like that. They it's, cannot go to the store. You cannot buy that. I'm trying to show you, like, I want to find a good piece because you can really see the the seasoning on the it won't this camera sucks it won't focus on it I'm trying to focus on me but well just inspect it you can literally see the seasoning on it unbelievable and we're going to reuse our paper towels because we like the environment because it keeps soaking it up just butter you may have used a bit too much Worcester just keep microwaving it guys until it ain't moist anymore, I don't think you'll ever regret putting the Worcester sauce on it. Mm -hmm. Just keep, just keep stirring it, so flipping it, and microwave. Just keep doing like minute and a half turns or whatever, and it will soak up and it will dry, and you will be glad of it. The commentary is hilarious of us trying to wrangle the thing away from him. He stole one, but they you know, listen. They've been a little rough on him, okay? With his with him snackies, so I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Big Daz. Like I said, if you're like, oh no, I've got too much sauce on it, don't worry, just keep at it. Or maybe it's a flavor thing, and maybe you were just like, I you too much. Which I, I like lots of cheese. Same. I don't think I can. I don't know if I could hardly overdo it. Like, but not everybody does. So just exactly. adjust appropriately next time. Yep, it's very flexible. Or be like Helen and add bourbon. And, or, yeah, literally, like, it's very <laughs> flexible to change these ingredients to really whatever you want. Once you understand the process, that's all we're doing. And now that you guys understand the process and how easy it is. Woo! Oh, yeah, now we got clumps. Look at the steam coming off of that. Yeah, 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 exactly. There's, like, massive steam coming off of this right now. No sizzle. We're not to a sizzle yet. If you guys will remember, we got that sizzle and we did a couple more turns and that was, hey, hey, he tried to steal it. And he said, no. You, yeah, you know you're you in trouble. You did that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, Lord. That, that boy defended his ring. Oh, good boy. Yeah, baby. I'm always trying to get robbed. <laughs> now we know why he hides Yeah. Out. It wasn't serious. No one panic. I saw Triton. When I yelled, he was like, ah! Like. No, they didn't take it. He defended it that time. 
tried and tried to sneak up behind him. He was trying to get back. He was trying to get back at him for the chicken foot, I think. And he was like, Wah. it was fine. Crisis, I know. He my baby. He's a baby. What size is the plastic bowl? Uh, what would you say this is? Well, I, it's this size. Hold on. Hold on. Well, Queens, I would tell you, put, Any size. get the, the biggest bowl that can fit in your microwave. But this one is a, what? 12 inches. This is a 12, <laughs> sorry, this is a 12 inch bowl. This From the away. top, yes. Yep. Right. Whoop, don't want it clumping. This is why you can't leave it out too long in the turn. Put it back. In we go. We're doing two minutes. Two minutes now. It escalated. Yeah, he's, listen, uh, Orson go, squalls and tattles. He immediately squalls and tattles, and he should because him a baby. So, uh, and Triton got in trouble. But also, Orson tried to steal his chicken foot, so he tried to steal his teething ring back. Tell Millie, do not cover it. What size is... Wait, does She really says that, yeah. Would put, covering yes. it and putting it in the fridge to cool... Oh, my God. Yeah, it has to be laid out. In layer. Yeah. On paper towels. Yep. yep. To soak up the excess. Look at the excess. That's the key to the... That's the, the butter. Crispy. That, right. If you don't do this and you don't get this... It will be soggy. It will be soggy. More chewy, not even soggy. Yeah, it, it would not be a good uh, Chex Mix quality. So definitely, definitely always make sure once it's done and it's crispy and it's sizzling and you're getting a little crunch even when it's hot, hot, that's when you know, spread it out super thin. That way everything cools. And it, you know, what did it... It, it weighed out 10 minutes? 15 minutes. Yeah, 10, 10 15, 15 minutes. minutes. And that was it. And it was ready, ready to go. <laughs> Sussy. Perfectly equipped with a kitchen with length measurements. Mm -hmm. This kitchen has everything. The OK Baker kitchen. But not, yeah, I did that in inches, of course. Sorry, Sussy. We, we're I not know. Big, we're not all cool. And I know. <laughs> <laughs> she just read your comment okay. five. very disappointed in my children <laughs> five. It's one of those moments where you're just ashamed of your child <laughs> the whole loaf the whole loaf couldn't believe it well I could believe it because I also know my children but I just the whole loaf mm -hmm. And now they got a taste for it too, by the way. So when we're making it, well, they stole a slice the day before because mm -hmm. I had cut a slice and they stole that. And then they got a taste for it and they went for the whole freaking loaf and they got it. All right, we're getting there. We got midway. It starts getting real clumpy. I try to do my my flip and it's like one solid amalgamation. You can't, you can listen at the sound. You can't hear it when you're right. Doing. It's like it's like different. It doesn't make the. Yeah, it's totally different sound. Totally different sound. Give it a little fluff. Woo wee! That Worcester smells good. just a sign that the bread is delicious. I mean, it's true, but still. It's just so much work goes into the bread. So many so many hours, so much time, and then we literally cut, I cut a tiny piece and I was like, mm, I didn't even so get to good. eat it. You tried, she, she tried a tiny piece of my bread, like a little, just a little, mmm, mmm, delicious. And I went downstairs and then I was like, I need to get more of that bread. And then I, I came up here and I walked, I walked in here and I saw my bread knife on the floor and then I looked and I could see Nixie and she was like mid walk, like, oh, and I was like, you, and she was like, mm. like <laughs> and then she retreated around to the couch to where Triton was sitting going. Oh yeah, he did. Not and I'm have... like, I'm like, both of you did it. I know you did. And then they immediately went and laid down in their beds and didn't move. And that's when I took the shame picture. Trey's got no skills in, in like, no. off the, you know, he can't No, bless him. He, do it. he doesn't have to. Bless him. 
Even with him, he tries to just. And he tries to hide under this table. This is like his hiding hole spot. I know. I know. I think that's why he squalled because he got startled. He wasn't <laughs> expecting trying to sneak up behind him, and then and then he was. And when I oh, I yelled and I think scared him because I saw Triton oh. creeping. A little bit. They mean to you. Yeah, he's my baby. He's my baby. In his little hoodie. Very mischievous children. I love how he goes Superman. We pick him up and his little arms go like this. Shame. Guilt. They were very, very bad. Very, very bad. I know. So this is it. Any other questions while we finish up the, the second bowl here? I mean, like I said, it's pretty flexible. Oh, it's the amalgamation still. When it like is sticking together, that's not a bad sign, okay? He smells it, he's like, oh Jesus. He's trying to get away from me to go get it. He's a way he wants to protect, or Christ still protecting his ring. Him a baby, you just called a little shit. No. <laughs> well, he had a whole chicken foot in his mouth, and it wasn't his. And he bit you. <laughs> well, yeah, because he was trying to hang on to it, and my finger got in there. Look, he did get me. He brought blood. I didn't oh, even mama. see it. It's or it's like a blood bruise. I can't actually tell which. Or is it blue sauce? <laughs> no, I think it's blood. <laughs> Lordy mercy. You know what it is is they they can sense when they're not being watched and this is why it's always important to still watch your dogs when feeding them and they do really good eating together they do really good with treats together when you're watching but if you're not watching that's when the mischief mischievousness it's mischievous but is it also mischievousness that's a word too the mischievousness starts to show itself they become mis mischievous. Mischievous is how you say yes. it. It's not mischievous. It's not. Well, are you trying to convince me? Or are no. You convincing yourself? <laughs> but I'm saying there's a way to say it that is like mischievousness. But you can also say being mischievous. No, you can't. You can't say mischievous that. Mischievous is no, incorrect. I, I actually just did say it, so I can. Well. So whether I should. It's, <laughs> right. It's grammatically incorrect because it's not actually spelled that way. I know. I would make my mother very proud. All right. Haley said, who, guess who didn't know you went live? Oh, who? Haley who missed out on the... I've been talking about it all week, Haley. And CM Pep said, this is a very customizable snack. Yes. That's the point. That's the point. Also, Haley, Haley, relax. You can just go back and watch from the beginning. And if you have questions, you can ask them now. Because I'm going to be going... I'm still live for a little bit while we finish this bowl. Um, and we'll be answering questions in, in the chat. In the comments, yeah. right. So watch the video. If you have questions, leave comments. We will get back to you, myself and Odd too. She, you know, she's my sous chef, so she's, you know, more than equipped to answer any questions about the any of the OK Baker oh, well, stuff. this is not my expertise. No, say. but you've made it. I mean, I just really got a lot of practice with this one, so I, the touch, the feel, I have, like, I can sense it. That's why I was like, it needs 30 more seconds, and then it's good. But don't beat yourself up, Haley. What's done is done. We're here now. It's the, it is the end of the Chex Mix stream, but it, like I said, you can watch the beginning. You can leave comments to ask questions if you guys have any questions. Please let me know when you guys make this, if people enjoy it. I love hearing stories like that. It will make me so happy. I can't wait to share the bread man. I can't wait for you guys to watch the gingerbread video premiering tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it should be up. You should be able to set a reminder for it now so you don't miss it. And it is going to be a premiere, um, so there will be a chat room, but I'm, I probably won't be in it because I'll likely be driving. Um, but just so you guys can gather, uh, there will I'll be... I'll be monitoring. And Odd 2 will be happy to watch the chat room around that time, I think. And you still have time to make it. And exactly, you can still make these cookies before Christmas. And I mean, with the recipe is in there. It's not like broken down. I mean, it is, but if you really want to, you can follow this recipe. But it's really not about that. It's really about you seeing us making the bread family. That's really what it's about. All right. Okay. Almost done with the second bowl. 
well, not quite. We're not quite to sizzling yet, but it is getting a little, a little crispier. I can hear it. Oh, I can hear the difference. I can definitely hear it. You do a few flips and then you turn it and then you do it this way. And you flip it and then you turn it. We need a minute and a half. Ty, uh, no, Ty, I'm not coming for your mod job. I, I got, I, no, <laughs> not even, I, no. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. She just, uh, she's just helping me with the you baking. You just need cooking questions. That's the right. only thing I'm here for, just, just to answer the cooking questions. Big Dad said he thought it would be sticky, but it's not. That's the point. That's how you know it's done. Right, right. It gets. Oh, you got a scratch there? Somebody got a little itch. <laughs> I think that's Nixie getting a good. She's getting a good. Shut the whole thing. Yeah, it did. Um, it's uh, exactly. I mean, it is kind of sticky at first. So you don't stop. If it's sticky, it's wrong. Right. You just keep. Like, you just keep going. Just keep going. Mm-hmm. We're very close. Having a whole extra bag of Cheetos. And so this is what we can do. I have a half a bag of pretzels, a bag of Cheetos, and I've got more sesame sticks. And more sesame sticks. And we have a little bit left in this bowl. I could literally just make a Cheeto heavy one. Make yeah. a Yes, and then, but I don't even know what the status on our, our Worcester I saw. I got, I got back up with. And, but again, we can literally throw it in a bag and do it tomorrow if we want. Like, you Well, I was actually thinking I may even get the, just what we were telling them to do. The, we had to buy that Chex Party Mix to get the ride chips yep. out. We could use that to make something. Yep. Like, you just keep adding, you just keep building. It's your own, it's your own creation. That's why it's fun. It's like arts and crafts and food together. It sounded like someone was knocking. Yeah, she was literally like getting the itch right up, right up against the island. Oh yeah. Whew, I love the burn of my nose. Mm. Yeah, the good woo sauce. You've stolen that name now. Yep, it's it's woo sauce now. It does. The, the woo <laughs> songs. Yes, yes. Mmm, this one's good. This one's heavy on the sauce, and I like it. And see the color? Oh, yeah, we're getting good color. We still got a little bit to go. We ain't there yet. But we're going to start doing minute turns. Minute turns, minute turns. The burn of the yeah, it has like that. Um, I don't know. It's not salt. It's that tang, like that vinegar tang. You know, when you smell it, it's like whoo. But like, I want it. I want it. It's delicious. chicken foot you were a little chicken foot bandit and then you got yours tried to steal your puppy ring there's your puppy oh, no. ring it's really sad buddy mm, don't pout he never sits that home for me he squams and I, I'm flails. I, there's a there's a technique by the way those of you that have bulldogs you have to hold under their butt and like, I'm but still, if, if you get like this, they start to, I know, it, but they need, if you kind of do like this and you hold, they can do like a little zercher squat and he doesn't, he doesn't even care. He just stays just like this. Look at it. He loves it. Now this ain't going to be the last one, but we're getting close because we ain't quite to the sizzle yet. 
there was more sauce, so this one will have to go probably a little bit longer before it gets all dried up in there, you know what I mean? So I'm curious, do they like watching you make dog treats or people treats more? What's their favorite? Well, it's different, because we did, the treats was like a video and a live stream, because it, oh, it, was, it was a longer process, and so we recorded some of that, and then we live streamed part of it. Um, this is all live stream because it's pretty much from start to finish and I wanted you guys to see the process and not edited so you're like, oh, it's not really that easy because I'm going to be honest, the well, gingerbread video took us like four hours, all well, right? we were trying to figure out how to do a class. Right. But it got too complicated so we just decided just do it on the live Do it, do it members only. Like the, the Yeah, the registration fee is your, is membership. your membership and anyone that has Which a membership gets my the cheapest class you'll ever take. Mm-hmm. Teach you how to cook. Well, sort of. <laughs> we'll teach you how to be an okay. Teach you how to be an okay cook. But I'm telling you, you take this stuff to a party, your friends are going to be addicted. Like, people, uh, they accuse the Chex Mix of having, like, you know, drugs in it. Like, addicted drugs. Because you can't stop eating it. Like, you just cannot stay out of it. It's that addictive. And you don't even know why. Just butter and salt and Worcester sauce. Like, that's all it is. Can't stop eating it. Oh, Tridy trying to apologize. He is. He's over here laying at Atu's feet. Mm-hmm. He knows he's in trouble. Yeah. He's like, I'm sorry. We forgive you, Tridy, but still, you got to be nice to the baby. I want to know, so did you, have you guys enjoyed this though, really? Because this has been incredibly fun for me. I know that members only is a lower it's going to be a lower number stream but that's the point and you got to start somewhere i used to stream guys i used to go live and would have less than five people the entire stream and would stream for long periods with zero people watching and i still talked and you know acted like i was being watched because i never know when someone might tune in or whatever so it's fine You've come a long way, baby. i have come a long way and i know that and I feel like I'm building something new and it's also the same and I want it to start and you guys are on like the ground floor of this new phase that I'm trying to move into with my channel. So <laughs> I said you really can't stop eating it even when it's painful. She she was there for the spicy Chex Mix and listen, I liked it, but it was spicy and it just it burnt, but you were just like Mwah! like you're crying, but you just want to keep eating it because it's still so good. This is why I don't make it very often. I have no self well, luckily, we have a party to go to tonight, and so a nice big batch of this is a great party gift. Yes, and literally, it took, takes an hour. Set aside an hour, it will be done. Now, if you want to make enough Chex Mix to feed 30 people, you're probably going to be a few hours working, okay? Helen says, okay, cooking is going to become a staple. I hope so. Okay, baker. Okay, baker. I need a, I need a apron. And I need a cutting board and a neon sign. I need to put all of these things on my wish list. Yeah, we want one like the like the Krispy Kreme sign that mm -hmm. we can be like. Yeah, a bzzz, yeah. Mm -hmm. And get the OK Baker and it flickers. Yes. Yeah. And you put your apron on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Haley, your boy was bad, bad. He was very naughty. He really was bad. He was very naughty. He tried to launch a sneak attack on little Orsi. <laughs> the Orsi just tattles. <laughs> and, I know, he did. He just flopped on his back and was like, ah! and then waited for us to, you know, and then, and then he gets behind Atu when she's yelling at them and he's behind her legs like, ah! <laughs> like just wiggling his little butt like you getting in trouble you getting in trouble yeah that boy loves the chicken foot but he wants to he tries to eat the whole thing and he can't he does not have big enough jaws to chomp it no teeth we ain't got no teeth got baby teeth he can't do it but he loves it he loves to gnaw on them okay he really wants them that's why he stole one now he's you know i ain't gonna sit here and say he's an angel because he stole he also stole a thing but that's after many times of having it stole, stolen from well, him i think that they actually stole his first teething ring and so he was just getting them he's back like, me. Uh -huh. yeah me. So. he's a baby he is 
he's your baby. But he's being a good boy now, Haley. Trang's being a good boy now. He's all snuggled up at Atu's feet, trying to mm -hmm. make amends. Want to make sure everything's Nixie's okay. Nixie's on the other side. Nixie's over there on the other side. They're all, they're like, just love us. They are the sweetest dogs. They really just want to be loved and to counter surf. That's pretty much it. Pet them and let them counter surf. They're good. That's all they need. Fortune's quiet. I know. He's licking at, he, he's licking what's left over of the oh, peanut butter pad. Okay. Oh, he found peanut butter pad. There's nothing on it, but he's still working on it. Oh, you know this sound. That little bit of a sizzle. That's sizzle one. I think we had like three sizzles. Mm -hmm. Maybe even an extra. Yeah, well that was the 30 seconds, I'm pretty sure. Because it was like, I think it's done, but I just wanted to make sure it was hit good before I dumped it out. I also never stream on Sundays, and this is really fun to do. So I want to thank everyone for being here. All of you. this up eventually uh, and make it available where everyone can watch it I, I've said before I don't I don't want to hide the content from people I want the appeal to be that you want to be here live for it that's the appeal but you you know not everyone can be live for everything I don't know your schedule you don't know my schedule and sometimes they conflict and we don't get you know to do all the things that we want to do which is what replays are for it's also what the comment section is for. And I really want to encourage everyone in my community to watch replays. Go back and watch stuff. I design my content to be consumed whenever. There is, yes, obviously, like I said, live is great. I want people to be live. I want the memberships to, you know, reward those people that are there live. But, again, to reach a broader audience, I want, you know, I encourage you to watch replays. Comment back. I try to go back and watch everything, like, and look at all the comment sections. Why is the Queen's Army asking if you have shown me the joys of the air fryer? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, totally. Listen, Queens, the only reason I know anything about the air fryer is because my sister educated me swiftly when I arrived, and then it was all I ate. So the whole reason I got an air fryer was because of her. Anything related to cooking? Probably got it from her. It's true. Well, our brother cooks, but it's mainly oh. grilling. Yes, and listen, Aji's a fine cook himself. Maybe one of these days he'll let me record him doing a grill or something. Maybe. 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 He certainly wouldn't do it live, but maybe record it. He might. If I promise, like, not to show him too much or something. Like, just his hands. <laughs> yes. And, like, a voice changer. <laughs> See how it's crispy sounding? We're getting to that crispy, almost, not quite, but but close. I'm gonna do another minute. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Queen's Army, I love the air fryer too. Love the air fryer. It's, uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. We use it almost daily. Pretty much every day, yeah. And listen, I found like, you order food, especially pizza, Put it in the air fryer, even if you just got it. Even if the pizza was just delivered. Put it in the air fryer. On the reheat function? On the reheat function. It doesn't burn it. It doesn't cook it anymore. But it just crisps the outside just enough. And to be fair, I bet the air fryer could make some mean checks mix. But you would be on tiny little pans. Yeah. So it wouldn't really be worth it. And I don't know, man. I'm telling you, this bowl method, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. It, it sauces evenly. It distributes evenly. It cooks it evenly. It's just so much better to do it this way, in my opinion. I know there are probably some delicious Chex Mix out there that use the oven. This recipe originally was an oven recipe, but we found a better way, and that's what we Debbie did. Debbie found a better way. To be fair, we need to give yes. credit where credit is due. It's true. Debbie is really... She's like... She's the one that should be given the master class on these things. She's the one that I feel like is, if there was like a maestro level of cook well, slash our dad baker. Was the, was the bread. bread baker. Yep. Extraordinaire. Yep. And mom, anything that, I mean, mom Soups, makes the stews, stews and stews casseroles. And, oh my, casserole comfort queen. food. Yes. yes. 
Yeah, all those casseroles and soups and stews that I make, I get that and from my mom. Macaroni and cheese. Mm. And yeah, all that kind of stuff. Mm. Debbie can cook anything but snacks and Baking. cookies and candies and oh, pies. Mm, all, oh, yeah, her cooking pies mm -hmm. is insane. When I go home, when I visit Eastern Kentucky, I, I plan on recording and potentially getting some videos with Debbie cooking. I would love to get in her kitchen and have her. Well, and, cook and they're some so stuff. amazing. Now they're doing a lot of. Um, Frank is her husband. Like, is the most amazing farmer and can grow anything. They have a whole greenhouse with everything you could ever imagine. It. They have bees with fresh honey. Remember, I was telling you guys about the mm -hmm. bees. My uncle Frank with the bees. Did you guys watch the video that I put up of the Frogman molasses? By the way, if you haven't, go to my community tab. Set a bookmark for that and watch it. It is my family. The whole video. And it's the molasses stir-off that, you know, we've had every year, as long as I can remember. And you have molasses, well, as long as the cane's good and we don't have a bad year. but Which I think has happened before, uh -huh. but, uh -huh. but, you know, all and things. And that's what we use for our molasses for the gingerbread. Yep. And it's amazing just to see my family and the process and what all goes into it. Like, I think it helps put a good perspective on. And my sister's in the video, even. She was there. She was there. I wasn't there that year. <laughs> I know. Yeah. All right, I think one more minute, and these are going to be almost perfect. They're getting crispy. They get the sizzle. Yeah, Queen's Army watched Frogman Molasses and, and with Pep. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that amazing? <laughs> Haley's bees say hi to Frank's bees. Hey! They can be bee friends. That's they, adorable. They can be They can be friends. friends. <laughs> Thank you, Ty5, posting the molasses video. That's a fun one to watch, especially with the gingerbread video coming out tomorrow. Watch that and under this like um, do you need translation of any of the accents? We we can have I got you, yeah. <laughs> I got you. You think her twang was out today? Just check that video out. <laughs> mhm, mm mhm. Mm Listen, when I took Rhonda back home to Eastern Kentucky to like meet my family and stuff, she did kind of need a translator uh, for well, for Frank m mainly. Frank took her and Travis hunting, mm -hmm. and he said, "We're gonna we're gonna head up the hill and go over to this tear." And she legitimately thought he meant like a tear, like a tear in the earth, like a canyon. And she said, he said, this tear's a big tear over here. And she started panicking, like, like looking for, like, is there going to be a giant canyon that we could fall off of? What is this tear in the earth? Oh, my God. And then I'm like, it's a, a tower. He means a tower. A tower. Yeah. Tear, flare. Mm -hmm. We mix our bread up with bread flare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, the sizzle, sizzle. Uncle looked happy about the molasses. We're all of the, I think we're like, I'm so proud of our, our culture and our heritage and where we come from in Appalachia is so unique. There's no place else like it in the whole world. I, yes, I didn't know that growing up. It wasn't until I was an adult and I left and I traveled and I did things and I lived other places and I met other people's families that I realized how unique and special my family was and where I grew up. It's crazy. You'll take anything for granted, though. When you grow up in it, you just assume that pretty much everywhere is... I mean, I knew it was different, but I thought still pretty much the same. It's not. Not at all. Ooh, I think I think we need the 30-second hit, and then I think it's ready to go, sis. I'm so excited. Me too. All right, let's hit it. Do 30 seconds. And uh, we'll spread this out. And then, and then, yeah, we'll. I'll answer any last-minute questions. If you guys got any last-minute questions, put them in the chat now. Otherwise, the comments section is wide open, and myself and Odd2 will be happy to answer any questions you have about the check specs. But it's pretty easy. I'm so happy you guys showed up and participated in this with me. I hope that, you know, if you are and have been a member, I hope that this is like, oh, this was fun. I would like more of this. Maybe if you're not a member and you're on the fence, maybe something like this will entice you and encourage you to become a member. Because as we talked about, the members is what I need to focus on if I want my channel to be successful. If I want this to be viable for a career, we got to get those memberships up. And so my job is to then make the membership really appealing. And that's what I'm trying to do. And so I'm giving you literally one of the best things I can make, which is Chex Mix, okay? It's a pretty good offering. And hear how much crispier it sounds? It's so different. 
Like you just gotta keep doing it until it's until it's not soggy anymore. And that color, oh my god. Ooh, let's do a test just to make sure. Oh, I heard the crunch. Mm. You don't think it's done? I'm gonna do 30 more seconds. Queen's Army just used the air fryer to re crisp fast food french fries. I could never, I would never even keep fast food french fries in the, I would never keep them as leftovers until we got an until air Until now, and it's like, oh my god, you can warm up anything in the air fryer and it tastes fresh, it tastes better than fresh. Yes. Tedman says meow, that's uh, one of Ty Five's cats. His name is Ted, but uh, there was a game I was playing and there was a character named Tedman. And we, th we I said, you need to, he needs to be Tedman the Chunky. Like, their kitties are over in their condo. Yep, kitties, River and Hazel are over in the kitty condo. Probably just lounging. Mm -hmm. they, they tend to do that during the day and a lot of lounging about. Lounging. Mm -hmm. I think all of the doggies have either passed out or calmed down. They're ready for their nap. Yep. Oh, the poop bandit may have. If the poop bandit might have snuck off and laid a log, laid a Yule log somewhere. No, he's, um, he is literally in the window. He conned over the litter box. What? He's behind. sitting in the windowsill. He's not supposed to be back. He's like, what? Me? Huh? What? Alright. Now I think this is what I'm looking for. So it's not going to be all the way crispy because it's still hot. Right? It has to fully dry. But if it's crispy even while super hot, then you know you're onto something. Mmm. So... Look at this. Here, hold this. I'm holding it. And mm. Sussie said, uh, I think Sussie had some internet issues and dropped off and said, oh nice, you're still live. So yeah, there'll be a chance for last minute questions. So, yep. So. Any last minute questions you guys have or whatever, please let me know while we're spreading out the Chex Mix and wrapping this up. But I hope that everyone enjoyed I hope you try to make this and your friends and family are and Share with your friends and family. They should become members too and then they can learn great recipes. And yep. I really do need people. The Word of mouth is like the best advertisement. Like it's proven. Word of mouth is the best advertisement that you can get. Well, your so, subscribers are going up so you need your members to go up. Yep. Every, it really is. Everything is going really well and my members and my subscribers they're all everyone's doing their part but i always say these things because i'm like you never know when it's someone's first time in the stream you never know when it's the first time someone stumbles across my content so i i tend to repeat these things and remind um and i also think it's good for the members sometimes people forget to like a video sometimes they forget to check the community tab and i i want to remind you all to do that oh dang this might be a better batch i know it looks a little darker. I have to steal some. It looks a little darker. And then see how we kind of spread it all the way out. Wait, we get one nice layer. Oh, it's super crunchy. Mm-hmm. That extra 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. That last little hit, I think, is real critical. You know? What can I help you with, sir? Okay. I'll take this back. All right, guys. Yeah, actually, let's do it. Let's do a drone shot of the Chex Mix here. Whoa. No, Sussy, we're only on the second bowl. Yep, that was the second big bowl. Now, we do have a little bit left, but as I said, we can add some stuff to that that we might be missing. So, Sussy, how much the first bowl made, though? Oh, yeah, the container was that. Oh, yeah. First bowl. First bowl we made filled this up, this uh, Tupperware container up entirely. Like, pretty big, it's a pretty big bowl or a container, all right? And we let it dry completely before you put it in there, Wait, it doesn't get soggy. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing with this. And we reused the paper towel. Yep, because we love the environment. Mm -hmm. And where's my Orsi boy? He's over here. I need That's to get mommy. Uh, is that the third bowl ready? I think you need a laptop. That's okay. I knew it would surprise you how easy it was. I knew it would. Come to me, my baby. My baby. 
My little baby boy. Mm. He's tired. Yeah, your baby too sleepy. Mm. You sleepy boy. You sleepy boy. Well, I would like to thank you all for participating today. He left in, a log in the living room. Of course he did. <laughs> <sighs> the poop bandit strikes again. I'll get I'll get it. I'll get it. I just have to wrap this up. Um, take a look at this. It's like a mug shot. All right, the poop bandit strikes again. Uh, I, that is his way of thanking you all for watching. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Let me know in the comments section what you think and what your friends and family think. I'm very curious to hear. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you guys in the next stream whenever that is. I will, it won't be tomorrow uh, because the gingerbread video is premiering tomorrow at 10 a.m. So watch it. Enjoy it. And uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!